Now, uh, I think my next move is to get the floor in here. Okay, um, now, interestingly enough, uh, that is that long roof there. So that will come over here and we'll come back to here. Now, I'll set those offsets uh, a bit more accurately. About, I'll do a 300 um, soffit or something like that, you know, something like that there. Uh, just for the moment, um, I'm going to hide that, okay? And I'm going to draw uh, a floor in here, all right? So um, now I actually have the floor in, so I'm going to show you uh, that one there. Okay, so I've got the floor in here, and I need to do a little bit of adjustment on it, but I want to show you how I've made it up. So I'm using a plywood sheathing because you're going to have heavy weights and stuff like that up there. Uh, you might even put two layers of plywood sheathing uh, uh, on that cross uh, laid. Um, I'm putting a, a zone, just a zone, a, a structural timber zone. You might use posi joists or something like that in that case. So I'm giving you a zone of 225 or 250 here. We'll be generous and we'll do 275 just in case. And um, yeah, I think actually I, I will do um, Control C and uh, Control V. Okay, and we make uh, no, yeah, sorry, take that one out by category. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I hate when it does that. Uh, plywood. Okay, we'll just use that one then. Brilliant, made a mess of that completely. Okay, so we're going to insert uh, up, up, up. Oh, that's why it wasn't letting me in, because I had a finish five against a finish four and um, plywood. So I'm going to do two layers of plywood. Be hefty enough roof, which is what we need there. Okay. Now, that's uh, that one. I have a full color of red because it's going to be a one hour fire and a solid fill there. Now that's my roof gun in. I need to do some uh, edits here because obviously here's our stairs. So um, that will come um, this one I take and I'm going to bring all the way up to here. Now uh, when you do your stairs you can adjust this even a little bit more. All right. Um, so I think that's the landing point there, something like so, and then we'll do the same here, bring that one up to that point, okay, and then we'll take out the lift here, now let's see if that works, okay, it doesn't like something, oh yeah, they're joining there, okay. Continue. Um, right, I'll just for the moment I'll just move you back a little bit. Don't attach those walls. Right. Now that's roughly my floor gone in there, and I will adjust that now at a later stage. Let's have a look at that on section. Okay, perfect. There it is there. Um, now that should be down on that level, so I am going to align to this, I'm going to align that, because that should be 3.6 from that point uh, to that point up there, right. Now I've got that one um, in position, so uh, let's get back to that plan. Okay, I'm going to put in um, an underlay here now, the ground floor plan. So I can see where the walls are. All right. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to put in some external walls uh, at this point here. Architecture wall. And as I said, uh, I'm just going to use the the one I used before, the 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 external here. And if I need to change it, I will. Finish face interior. Okay. So I need to come around. Something like that there. Now, OK, 
Okay, I will probably need to um, do a little bit of adjustment on these as well. However, let's see how we're doing. So you can get these in. Take a look at that in 3D and see how that's working out for us. Okay, something akin to that. All right, now. Um, uh, sorry, there we go. Now let's just, uh, let's just change that to fine. And let's do a little bit of modification here, so. Now you can see how it was easy enough to be able to uh, adjust that. Um, will I bring that wall through here now as well? Um, it, section will tell me. Uh, no, I won't. Uh, but I probably will bring that wall from this point uh, up, up as far as there. Something like something like that. All right. So I'm going to go from A F or L to A or F F L. So from two to three, and if I go into here, I could probably do that. Um, architecture wall. Again, it's finish face interior, so it'll be something. I think like this. Let's just bring this over as far as a point there now I'll go back into the section uh, okay so move it uh, let's just move it as far as there and down as far as I can leave it uh, protruding here because I'll take that to the underside of the, the roof whenever I create that roof on that one so we're looking at that so there's our kind of join there as well now you know uh, something along those lines and you can see I've got that CLT if I take this one here right put it on the copy clipboard <laughs> um, and then I'll paste it into uh, this level here okay there's that one and that should go up as far as here and as far as there now that's this is just as an example right so this is the interior um all interior both sides and then it's interior here exterior there and that's my clt here and there's the insulation and i bring that across so that's that's the start of a good detail there okay it does need to be fixed up and whatever so uh, no problem with that got a floor in here now what we can do is um I can take these walls and go attach top and bottom something like so and I can do that for all of those walls 3d probably is the easier way to do that so pick pick add to and that's what I mean about separating those okay uh, attach top and base to that one now all right so we kind of have those ones in position i get my windows and whatever else uh, in there too and i need to position that flat roof here so um let me just go back to this so what do we do next flat roof in here uh, flat roof there flat roof there i think i'll do those flat roofs next uh, along with uh, a parapet that uh, is indicated here as well okay 